time I am to add them, this is my homemade disc golf cart. You can fit about 28 discs in this cart if you take out the pop cooler or the container here. Um, I made it myself. It costed just under forty dollars. Most expensive part, but for these lawnmower wheels that you can buy at Home Depot or Menards. Oh, it's also this strap that if you're out in the woods, not at a flat course. You can just carry it. So the discs that I have in my bag, I'm carrying a titanium nuke. It's pretty new, so it's got a lot of stability left in it. I carry it as my most overstable disc. And I carry a, a, a dynamic disc truss pass. It's kind of like a destroyer. And I carry a crank, which is basically the nuke's younger brother. It, uh, it's got some stability to it, but if you throw it hard enough, it could turn over a little bit. And I carry a cannon, which is kind of like a slightly more overstable katana or Vulcan. Um, you're not going to want to throw it for a big hyzer shot, but you throw it hard enough, it'll turn over a little bit and come back. Nice S line disc. You can get a ton of distance on it. And I carry a lace, which will turn over a little bit. It's kind of more of a long distance any shot, but uh, it'll still come back a little bit at the end. And I carry a west side sword. This is pretty beat in, so it's more of a straight disc. It's a speed 12, but if you're in the woods and you just put something on a straight line, this is what I like to throw. And I carry a surge, which has a little bit of flip to it. You're not going to want to throw a hyzer shot with it. It's more of a shorter distance S line to maybe an any disc. And I carry this Z Avenger SS. Um, Avenger SS is a really flippy, but this one's pretty new and it's a Z plastic. So it's got a little bit of stability to it. Comes in handy in the woods. And then I carry this old Avenger SS that's pretty beat in. This is my most understable driver. It, uh, it's not going to come back. It's an anti disc 100%. And I carry a Glide. I use it more of a as a uh, long distance mid range. It's a good anti disc. And as far as my mid ranges go, I carry a drone. Everybody knows what a drone does. A Buzz OS, which is pretty overstable, just not quite as overstable as a drone. Somewhere between a Buzz and a drone. And I carry a buzz. Everybody knows what a buzz does. And I carry this Claymore, which I got in the Trilogy Challenge this year. It's a Latitude 64 disc. Um, it's really straight. It uh, might ante a little bit, but it's not going to finish hard at the end. It's a real straight disc. And I carry this Star Kite, which flies more overstable than the numbers give it. Um, I use it as a straight to a ante mid-range. And then for my most understable mid-range, I carry this Prodigy M5. Prodigy makes, I think they make five different molds of mid-ranges, and this is their most understable. It's, uh, I'm liking it so far. As far as my putters, I carry a soft warlock for my overstable putter. I probably should be carrying a VP or a wizard or something, but 
this is overstable enough for now. I also carry a classic AVR, just a little bit straighter than the Puff Approach AVR. It's a, it's a good straight uh, disc. I use it for approach shots. And then the disc that I putt with is a super soft Magic. It's a, it's a really straight disc. I don't spin putt, I fan putt. So I really want something that's not going to finish hard at the end. Um, I also use this for approach shots. It's not going to finish much. It's more of a straight to an ante disc. 